first of all, you notice my throat is a little iffy. I was trying to sing glory. I realize now I'm not a professional singer. I've just been working hard out there. But I love you back, Chicago. I've got some amazing friends that I haven't seen in a while. I, I, I was thinking on the way over here that it was 10 years ago tonight that uh, we had a small event in Grand Park. And you had just elected me the 44th President of the United States. And I remember it, it, it was an extraordinary night. I remember looking out over the crowd because the victory didn't belong to me, it belonged to you. And as I've been traveling around the country, I know that there are people who sometimes think, and I am here to report to you today. I will, just relax. <laughs> I got some hype man over here, just settle down. I think it is interesting. I always encourage them. I want everybody voting. If you don't agree with me, you should still vote. So my point is this. And I had to, I had to grab a broom. The economy created more jobs over my last 21 months than it did the 20 month, months since I've left office. I mean, I'm telling you, man. Nobody in my administration got indicted. JB and me. I mean, I'm not in the same league, but I'm doing pretty good. I didn't make this up, by the way. I believed in fact-based campaigning. I believe in reality-based governance. For the life of me, I will never understand why. Oh, because I did it. If it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, when I was president, by the way, I should say, Warren worked in my administration, going back to the point I was trying to make here. And that brings me to a bigger question in this election. Like, uh, I was telling some folks in, in Gary, you know, Michelle come home, and I'm, I'm like, doing the dishes. And Michelle be like, i like, look, honey, I'm doing the dishes. And she'd be like, boy, you haven't done the dishes in a month. <laughs> what did you do wrong? Because she knows I'm trying to put some spin on something. What we have not seen before, though, at least not in my lifetime. I mean, look, when, when I was running for president, and then after I had one presidency, so I'm running for re-election. You know, I, I, I ran ads. Like, I, I wouldn't run ads saying, you know, I'm opposed to Obamacare. Because I'd, I, I'd run on a... I'd, I'd, I'd worked on it. That, that was my thing. I owned it. I mean, that is, I've never, I've not seen that. I never really understood. Why would I do that? I mean, I like grandmothers. I've got it. I love my grandmothers. No, I'm serious. I mean, obviously that was not on the level. Which always makes me think about Peanuts and Charlie Brown. Because I always think about, you know, da 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 I love Charlie Brown Christmas. I'm asking all of us to stand up for, and that's where I remain hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful because out of this political darkness across the country, I'm seeing a great awakening of citizenship. I can't tell you how encouraged I've been. Ten years ago when I was running, I did not say, yes, I can. I said, yes, we can. I always have to say this to people. Look. Let me just say, let me just say this.